Welcome. In the last video, we talked about variables and how we use information as part of our program. In this video, we're going to be talking about some terminology. So we're going to look a little bit more at what exactly is going on when we look at something like this, what's happening behind the scenes, and talk about a few terms that I feel that are important for you to understand uh, because these terms are used all the time. So if you're talking to another programmer, if you're working on a project with someone, you might hear these terms. And these terms will play out again later in future concepts. So it's a good idea to understand what they are. So we're going to be talking about declaration and definition. So let's get started. So let me clear some of this stuff here. So we don't have a lot of things that are not that useful. And let's go back to int my age is 20. So we have to look at what exactly is happening here, right? So there are two things that are happening. The first thing is declaration, and that happens on with the first two words, int my age. So what you're saying here is that you're telling the, the program, this program that you're writing, you're saying, hey, I am going to need space, I'm going to need memory in order to store an integer all right, of our data type. And I am going to call this information, I'm going to call it my age, all right? So you're declaring something. You're, you're, you're still not you know, doing any changes. Nothing's happening. But you're telling the software that there exists some variable called my age, which is of type integer, and you're going to need space for that. The second thing is the definition, or also sometimes called for variables initialization, which is I am giving it a value. So remember, variables need to have a value. So when I say equals 20, I am initializing this variable, I am defining this variable. This variable now represents the value 20. And this is important because you're actually allowed to declare a variable before you define it. So for example, let's say that I write the following, float my money. Notice that there is no errors, right? Visual Studio is not reporting any errors. In fact, I think it should let me build. Although, yeah, so there, there's no issues, right? I'm able to, to go through it and nothing happens. Now, why would I want to do something like this? Well, imagine that you're, you're getting paid. You're going to get a paycheck, but you don't know how much you're getting paid. You know that the amount that you're going to get paid, it's a floating number because it's going to be a number with a fractional part. Let's say you get paid... Mm -hmm. $300.50, right? I'm just making something up. You're going to need a, a, a space in memory to store that number. And so you need a float. And that space, you're going to call it my money. So what you're doing here is you're declaring that you're going to need this at one point in your software. But you still haven't defined what it is. You still haven't assigned the value like we did on the first variable here. Now, again, you would want to do a thing like this because perhaps you don't know that value at this time, right? Maybe you do some computations in between, you know, maybe there is some code that you write here and that code will find how much money you have, right? Maybe you have to subtract, you know, taxes or whatever, and that will tell you how much money you have. So there are times where you know you're going to need space to store information. You don't know what that information is. So you're just telling the software, hey, you know, make these things available for me because I'm going to need them later on. So let's go to the drawing board just to get a little bit more explanation of what's exactly going on. So here we have the line of code that we had on Visual Studio, right? We have a variable called my age of a data type and with a value of 20. Okay, so what exactly is going on? So imagine that I have memory here. So imagine memory is this little rectangle that I draw here, right? And so what's going on is you're telling the computer, hey, I need you to give me a little bit of space, right? So let's say this is the amount of space that I need, right? And in this space, I want to store an integer. So let's just say I'm going to write it right here. And this space is going to be called my age, which will have the value 20, okay? So you can imagine that this is what's happening uh, when you write this line of code. Now, what happens when you have something that is not defined? So let's say you have something like float, and we also said my money, right? And we don't have any kind of 
a definition for it. We don't have a value for it. Well, something similar happens. You get some space for it that you're going to be using for. And let's say you write here, just say this is a float. I'm going to type FL just for float. And in here, uh, this is going to be my money. Right? But what do we put here? We don't have any value for it. Well, nowadays, Visual Studio, and I think most compilers for the most part, they are not going to let you use this variable if you haven't defined it. Meaning, you cannot use this variable if you haven't assigned a value to it, if you haven't initialized the value. Now, back in the day when I was learning how to program, I recall that we were able to do a particular thing. Now, RAM, the memory inside of your computer, has electricity going through it. And the electricity that goes through here, it goes in such a way that rep it represents the value 20. Now, surely the memory here also has some electricity going through it. So, instead of actually having a question mark, there's really some kind of value here that we don't know what it is. It can be any kind of value. This value that exists in this box that we have not initialized, we call it garbage. And the reason why it's garbage is because we don't know what it is. And what do we do with information that we don't know what it is? Well, we can't do nothing with it, right? It's no longer information. It's just garbage. So it is always important to first... Uh, if we're going to declare a variable as we did here, we have to then define it somehow before we use it. So if I go back to Visual Studio, you will realize that I am able to use my age here because of this 20, right? I already assigned it. But let's say that I take this off. Let's say I, I, just, I just declare my age, but I don't use it. Visual Studio will tell me, hey, um, you are using a variable that's not initialized, using uninitialized memory, my age. Now, back in the day, that garbage, um, I, was, I was able to compile this, and whatever value was in that little block, uh, I was able to just come here and just, it, it'll display whatever value was there. Now, of course, that would be wrong, right? Because my age is not some random value that's inside memory. My age has a particular value that I have to assign. So in this case, if I wanted to, let's say, declare a variable, let's say I wanted to declare a variable like this, and then I wanted to initialize it afterwards, then I would have to say my age is 20. And in this point, you will see that the error would go away. Well, it takes time. Sometimes it doesn't remove it right away. But notice it builds successfully, and I'm able to run it. Whereas if, whereas you can see right here, my age is 20. Whereas if I didn't have this line and I try to run it, uh, Visual Studio would give us a warning that says, hey, uh, what you're doing is not right. And this is thanks to the changes that have happened. Like I said before, I recall we were able to just do this. And then if we did not define the value in this variable, we could use it and it would use whatever garbage was in it. Nowadays, thanks to Visual Studio and the other compilers, the advances, they realize, well, this is a mistake. You will never want to use the value in a variable that you have no idea what's in it. So in this case, um, now they check for you and they give you these warnings. So what I wanted you to get out of this video is that you're able to declare a variable in case that you do not know what the value of that variable is. And then later on, maybe you do some computations here and after those computations, you realize, oh, my age is 20. Then you're able to say, okay, well, now I can define it. And after I define it, then I can now make use of it in the rest of my application. If I try to use it before I define it, uh, I will get an error. And Visual Studio will point that out and say, hey, what you're doing is improper. And, you know, it's still showing the squiggly lines. But when I build, it, they should go away. Sometimes it doesn't remove them right away. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. If you like this video and don't mind, leave a like. If you're new to this uh, channel, check out the video series. Check out the YouTube channel if you like what you see. Subscribe, be safe, and peace out.